You've got the COVID. Now what? Hey, what's up? I'm Mark Scott. Thanks for checking out another voiceover tip. Every week I do my best to provide you with actionable, practical advice that you can use to grow your voiceover business. I want to help you think like a VOpreneur, but I also want to give you the strategies to act like a VOpreneur. So if you never want to miss one of these tips, like and subscribe to the channel. So last Wednesday, I woke up about four o'clock in the morning, shivering violently, like shaking the bed. My wife thought there was an earthquake and we live in Ontario where that doesn't happen. It was a violent shake. Woke her up, woke up the baby, didn't have a fever, couldn't get warm. Violent shaking for probably about four hours. I'm wearing pants, a hoodie, I got like six extra blankets on, nothing that I'm doing can help me to regulate my temperature and get warm, despite the fact that I still don't have a fever. Like I said, that lasted about maybe four hours, somewhere around four or five hours, about eight or nine o'clock in the morning, I finally get my temperature under control. And now I am congested like I've never been congested in my life, and I've got the worst headache I've ever had in my life. And I'm a migraine sufferer, so that's a lot to say that I've got the worst headache I've ever had in my life. The way things are working in Canada right now, they tell you if you've got one symptom or more, just assume that you have COVID, isolate. We can't get access to tests and all that sort of stuff, so just assume you've got it, isolate. I'm not excited about it. It means I'm going to have to spend a few days in the basement by myself. It means I don't get to have snuggles with my baby girl, which was tough. You know, my kids are upset because I maybe can't tuck them in at night, all that sort of stuff, but got to do what I got to do to protect my family. I'm vaccinated. So I'm not too worried, you know, gonna be a couple of crappy days and then everything's back to normal. This is my assumption at this point anyway. But the downside to it all was I had full days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, things that had been scheduled for weeks in advance, coaching sessions, voiceover sessions. And now I gotta go and cancel everything because I cannot do it on Wednesday. Couldn't even get out of bed on Wednesday. Thursday, felt bad, starting to lose my voice. Friday, pretty much no voice at all. It was, it was really, sucked like that's it it just it sucked and so it got me to thinking though about a question that pops up all the time especially in the vopreneur facebook group i see it all the time i'm sick what do i do what do i tell my clients and i always thought the answer to that was really obvious but it seems to me that obviously the answer is not obvious and that's why the question comes up all the time and so i think it's something that we need to talk about because what's at play here is an underlying fear that if we tell our clients that we're not available for a job, we're gonna lose not just the job, but we're gonna lose the client. And that is a fear that is based on no reality that I am aware of at all. I think it's just something that we think. It's just a story that we've told ourselves that if we aren't available, our clients are gonna replace us with somebody else who is, and then that's it, that's the end of it. And I just wanna let you know that that has never been my experience. I've been doing voiceover for over a decade, a couple decades really, but full-time business for about a decade and then probably about 10 years before that, hobbyist, part-time, whatever. In all that time, I have lost jobs because I was sick, but not once have I lost a client because I was sick. And do you know why? We're humans and our clients are humans and humans get sick. Our clients understand that it happens. Now, if you are scheduled for a session tomorrow with a huge client, and you can't come to the session because you're hungover, that's a totally different scenario. But if you're in bed with COVID, ain't nobody gonna fire you as a, as a vendor because of that. It's not gonna happen. All of the time, when I have to cancel sessions because of it, my clients tell me the same thing. Get better soon, let us know when you're ready. Almost every time. Now, every once in a while, I'm not ready before they've gotta do the session. And they've gotta move on to somebody else. And I understand that and I'm okay with it. And you wanna know what I do? I will offer to help them find someone to replace me. That's gonna blow your mind because I'm sure you're thinking that I'm out there giving away my jobs, giving away my clients, helping out my competition. That's not the way this is at all. I'm just concerned about my client and their project and our relationship. And so when I know that I'm not gonna be ready, I have reached out to clients in the past and said, look, I'm not gonna be able to do this. I mean, even today, my voice is not back entirely. It hasn't quite been a week yet. I will say, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Can I help you find someone who can? 
and I'll collect demos and I will submit demos and I will make connections and I will help them get the job done. And do you want to know how many clients that has cost me? Zero. What that does is it makes me even more valuable to my client. It proves to them how serious I take our relationship and how committed I am to their success and the success of their projects. So what I want you to understand is that if you get sick, it's okay. You should never go into the studio to record if you're not feeling 100%. You should never try to wing it and, and kind of half butt your way through a session because you're only doing a disservice to yourself and your client at that point. They will respect you so much more if you just tell them straight up, I can't do this today and here's why. I'm sick and they're going to understand and they're going to have compassion and they're going to have empathy and it's never going to cost you a relationship so don't ever be afraid to tell them the truth. Bye.